Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Assuming Tai will allow it. You need anything, you just ask. We might not have your uncle's resources, but resourcefulness we've got in spades. you back so soon. Is everything we've received and everything promised. You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. Clive. Anything catch your eye? something in there. How are you feeling, Joshua? <sighs> Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed. But your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. And what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. You... Yeah. you underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same.
is this place? <gasps> Don't move. It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them, or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me, I have nothing to. I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you coming! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen 
I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. You've seen more of the world these past five years than most do in a lifetime. It's a shame you never had a moment to enjoy it. Then again, why settle for low-born chaff when we've honest-to-goodness royalty right here beneath our roof? If Prince Dion cannot see my love for him, then perhaps the Phoenix will. Welcome home, Sid. Says anyway, though I'd have to see it to believe it. Hmm. According to this, Barnabas Tharm is called the last king on account of the fact he hasn't aged a day since claiming the throne. But that was almost five and thirty years ago. I saw Mid and the others made it back in one piece. Uh, more or less. <laughs> would that the free cities had fared so well. It would take years to rebuild what was lost to His Majesty's Akashic army. in the hands of Akashic. We'll need to find another port. Preferably one as well hidden as the ironworks. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. Did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um... Let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only Mithril engines get hotter. You can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. 
Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, might, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Can't say I've ever been to the Silent Sound myself. Nor Advent, for that matter. <laughs> I've hardly ever been out of the duchy, to tell you the truth. Did get the chance to visit Lost Plume once, though. What a piece of work that place is. Would have stuck around to study the relics more. If half of them hadn't been trying to blimmin' kill me. <laughs> How was she? The Enterprise, I mean. So, she don't need sails or oars, but she's still the fastest ship. Miss, can we read Miss Editor's story for our lesson today? What a wonderful idea, Jocelyn. Let's do just that. I finally finished the book I was writing. You're welcome to read it. If young Jocelyn hasn't already defiled its pages with his infernal scribblings. <laughs> Canva lost? It can't be true. I'm sorry, but the report was clear. The scouts found no survivors. Have you tried Molly's lemon tarts? I've never had anything so delicious. I should be so lucky. They're all in Ted's belly before they've even had time to cool. Lady Karen's called in a favor with one of her suppliers. We should have a new shipment of sackcloth before the next moon. Not a moment too soon. these and the deadlands will seem less dead. These flowers are beautiful. Pity we have to boil them all down to make medicine. A trader from across the sea once told me that on the continent they play music for their crops. Do you like that one?
are out you need. Be seeing ya. If I painted you black, could you fly me across the lake? Are you even listening? What do I owe the honor? Yeah. The weight of all that shit. Clever girl, that one. What do you want? Lost you a good while. And the stew's awfully thin these days. Oh, what do you expect? Farmers are abandoning their fields and traders their roots. Most of what we have now comes from here in the Idaway. My Lord Marquis, I. I heard about Eastpool, that some of my fellow guardians are to build a new home there, both for themselves and for Madame Martha's bearers. Is it true? It's true. The village is to be rebuilt. I have many fond memories of Eastpool. When I was a child, we would visit my aunt and uncle often. They would lavish attention upon me as if I were the son they never had. I went to see Aunt Hannah after my uncle passed away, but... Not nearly as often as I should have. Oscar, I'd like you to assist Sir Wade in the rebuilding efforts. But, but my lord, uh, my training is not yet complete. I, I couldn't possibly. I warned you I might not be the easiest of masters, but I'm not as hard-hearted as that. Go, be with your aunt. Rebuild her home. It's what she would have wanted. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. I will not forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to Eastpool, but as soon as the rebuilding work is complete, I promise to return. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least.
Don't tell me we've run out of papio nuts and all. Aye, it's a dangerous world out there. Best of You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? <laughs> you look like you could do with a drink. Might be a mo. Don't be a stranger, Sid. about. The odour is what gives chances to its, uh, depth. And that's what makes it superior to any old lizard livers. Oh, please. Have you even tried the fried mortress? Taste, smell, texture. It beats your beloved stew hands down on every count. Now that's a masterpiece. What do you recommend? A shirt. This is a tavern, not a brothel. Sid! How about a round for us little people? <laughs> Hush you. That man doesn't owe you anything. We all know that bearers have a resilience to the ill effects of ether. But don't you find it strange that there are those who, despite being free of magic's burden, can seemingly pass through a flood without consequence? I asked our Lorsman how this could be, and he suggested that it might have something to do with bloodlines. Many of the realm's dominants are born to specific families, you see. The Rasfields, the Lesages. So there must be something in those families' blood that provides them with the potential to become vessels for icons. But what about the ones who don't awaken? Could it be that this same potential provides them with something of the same immunity? Your uncle's recent travels with you across the ether ravaged countryside would certainly suggest so. And yet, what about Gav? Well, in smaller, more isolated populations, bloodlines are less diluted. Hence, Shiva's dominant, sometimes awakening in the child of a common northerner. And our scouts not having turned a hundred times over. Mid said I could ride the Enterprise next. No, she didn't. She said I could. Good morrow to you, my friend. I have a few new notes that might interest you.
is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. everything you needed? Sid made it home safely. Mm. His brother didn't look all that well, though. Karen says she'll provide what she can for our voyage to Ash, and has even agreed to forgo payment. Until our return, that is. Covered in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. It's a wonder they can still walk. It's a wonder they made it back at all. I heard Odin was there. I suppose you've got quite the tale to tell. But I'll let you get some nice warm stew in you first, before I go bothering you for the details. You said. I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. I would have gone to Martha's rest with Doris, but she ordered me to stay behind. And I'm not about to start disobeying orders. Better off not knowing. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old haunt. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, 
The mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned, or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravost. You need anything? You just ask. We might not have your uncle's resources, but resourcefulness we've got in spades. I still say it were a compliment. Say it all you like. It doesn't make it true. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for Mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters! All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the Last King. Understand him? And you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas. And barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain 
will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. What will it be today? How may I help you today? I have no reason to assume otherwise. Well, then that changes everything. Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example, one that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us, though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. If it please your grace, might I one day borrow the chronicles for a short while? 
Of course, those men have Hippocrates. You need but ask. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill. The Enterprise will appear a tempting target for Royalists and Pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. He swears he'll take his medicine, but it's up to you to see that he doesn't just take it with him. Please, Your Grace, stay strong. Ah, my Lord Marquis. It was the greatest honor of my life. But now, so I bid you, your companions are kind indeed. I must admit, but I see now. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. 
There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But His Grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by, and our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. For Joshua? Anything? Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. I had only thought to ask for your assistance in finding a new source of stone award, but if you're sure about collecting it from the flood by the aqueduct, I should be most grateful, my lord. <laughs>